Today, I'm going to show you guys how to play Hot Blooded by Mick Jones and Foreigner from the band's 1978 album Double Vision. Uh, we are in standard tuning for this tutorial, and this track starts with a G power chord. Now, we're going to chug along on this G power chord uh, palm muted for four full bars. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then the final two or three counts of those four bars, we're going to kind of increase intensity of this G power chord, right? And release the palm mute. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then we drop into the main riff, which is also the riff for the chorus, because this song starts with the chorus. Now we're going to repeat the riff twice before the vocals come in and then we're going to repeat it three more times with the vocals before dropping into the first verse. <laughs> that riff right there. Famous, right? G power chord twice. Then you're going to take your ring finger and pinky, which are sitting here on the fives of the A and the D string as part of this G power chord. You're going to drop them down on the D and the G string into a double stop and then catch that on the upstroke, right? And then a quick jog back to just the single note G at the third fret of the low E and then back down to the double stop again on the upstroke. And then when you strike that double stop again, you're going to release your pinky off to the fourth fret of the G string along with this uh, fifth fret of the D string, right? And then you're going to drop down into C and do that. So we're going to strike just a single note here, uh, the C note at the third fret, and then we're going to strike the full chord. And you're going to do that twice. And then you're going to drop onto the sus here at the 6th fret of the B string and strike that twice along with the full chord. Right? Before dropping back into G and starting the whole thing again. Now before you do drop back into G, he does a quick little, little down up on the two middle strings or a couple of middle strings. It's very quick, right? Just a little transition back into G. Hear those little ba -da -da, ba -da -ba -da, just a little transition to get back into G. Now, after you repeat that uh, five times, we move the whole thing up to D, and we start on the sus. So we're going to have our pinky here planted on the uh, the eighth fret of the B string. A couple of strikes of the uh, the A and the D string together, right? And then you're going to hammer on the full chord with the sus and release it off to the bar twice. Right? And then we drop into the first verse. So that is the main riff. And then we're just going to repeat that uh, eight times, I think, for the first verse. It's just going from G, a G power chord, off to an F power chord, down to a C power chord, and then back to G with little variations. So we're going to start it with just a hammer of this G power chord, then off to F. But before you hit that F, a little down up mute, down to C, 
and then back into G, and you're gonna do another little down up mute before dropping into this G, right? Now, every time going forward after this first time, because the first time you just dropped right into that G, right? Choke it off, and then F, then down to C, back to G, right? Now, before going off to F, we're gonna do this. So we're gonna uh, just kinda hit the G power chord, and then catch the octave of that uh, third fret there on the uh, fifth fret of the D string, right? Catch that on the upstroke before moving off to F, C, right? You do that every time. Now there's another guitar doing something different, doing this. Catching the, uh, the top three, two or three strings of this G major chord, right? Something like that, right? And you repeat that eight times uh, for the verse. And then we drop into the pre-chorus. So this is the pre-chorus. chorus, right? So the pre-chorus here, we're going to take a C, three finger C power chord, slide it into D, strike it again after you slide into it, back off to C, and then back to D again. And then slide out of it. Up to an F, strike that twice, and then back to C, strike that twice. But before you do strike it twice, a little down up mute, right? And then you're going to go from C to D again, back to C, back to D. And then this time, instead of going to F the second time, you're going to go up to E before going back off to C. First time. Second time. Right, and then back to C, and then you repeat the first one again. Now to finish the pre-chorus, we're gonna go to that F again, slide it back to D. Right, strike it twice, then slide it back to D. Then you're gonna grab a double stop in the third fret of the, uh, the D and the G string, strike it twice, and then off to the open D, open G and then back into the main riff. So that is the pre-chorus. repeats again for another eight bars back into another pre-chorus back into another chorus uh, and we've already learned all that and then we drop into the solo so let's have a look at that solo right now all right then let's have a look at this uh, famous but uh, rather unorthodox uh, guitar solo from nick jones to this one going to give it a quick playthrough at a fairly relaxed pace and then we'll dig into how to play it yeah <laughs>
that's pretty much the solo right there. So we're soloing in the key of G, and uh, we're pretty much using the G minor pentatonic for the most part, but uh, it's a real mix of major and minor because he does grab the major third a number of times in this solo. So it's a, it's a bit of a mix, but it, it's like, like I said, it's like 95% pentatonic work here. So we're going to start on the first fret of the uh, low E string. We're going to give that a full step bend release, and then a re-bend, and then a re-release, right? So we're bending that up to G. When you get it back to F, you give it a little vibrato, right? Into this. So it's two guitars, because you can still hear this going on, this F note, when he dives into that, right? So you're going to grab the fifth fret of the G string, full step bend, release off to three, and then grab the five of the D. And then we're into this. So we're going to slide into this double stop here on the uh, fifth fret of the G, sixth fret of the B. You're going to hit that, I don't know, seven or eight times. And then you're back onto this five of the G for another quick little bend release off to three. Back onto the five of the D, right? Now, we're going to do this little lick. right there on that major third, right? So we're just going right up the scale here, five of the D, three, five, seven of the G, double hits on every second note. So we're gonna start with a double hit on that five of the D. And when you get onto the five of the G, that's a double hit, then you move it into seven, single hit. Then you're gonna drop down to the eight of the B string for a double hit. And then down to the six of the high E. And then you're going to go eight of the high E off to six, and then eight of the B. And then you drop off to that major third there at the fourth fret of the G string. Or you could go off to open B, I suppose. Right? So up to that point. drop into this. So we're going to jump into the 12th fret of the B string here. Then you're going to do double trills here, 12 to 15 of the high E, grabbing the 15 of the B. Kind of like that, right? And then you're uh, going to go 15 of the B down to 12, back to 15, into a full step bend. Kind of like that. Back to the natural note at 15, off to 12. Quick little bend at 14 of the G, off to 12. And then we're into this. All double stop work, and we're gonna repeat this six times. Double stop on the 15s of the D and the G, sliding it back to 12 and then strike it a couple of times when you slide it back. Repeat that six times. And then the final time, you're going to go off to 10 after you go on to 12, and then back on to 12, right? Something like that. And then we move into this. So we're planting our index finger here on the 15th fret of the G, B, and E string. We're going to strike the double stop on the G and the B twice, and then you're going to go down to the double stop on the B and the high E, and then back to the double stop on the G and the B twice, and then you're going to drop onto the 18 of the B back to the 15 of the G. And then you're going to give that a little full step bend release with your index. And then you grab a double stop on the 12s, two middle strings, and slide out of it. So that little section there. 
like I said, it, it's all very loose. And then you slide out of that, and then you do a double uh, double slides up and down the neck. Kind of like that, right? Wow, wow. Before dropping into the outro of the solo, which has got some big bends in it. So we're going to grab the uh, the 16th fret of the, uh, so that's again, the, the major third again right there, right? We're going to bend that up a step and a half. And then release it. Then you're going to shift fingers, you're going to go 16 on to uh, 19. You're going to raise that two and a half steps. Big, big bend. And then you're going to release that bend and you're going to release it into a couple of mutes. And then you're going to grab the root note there at the 15th fret of the high E. Right? This little section, this note, he's kind of flubbing over this note, but uh, it's kind of hard to reproduce exactly what he's doing. But, you know, you do a couple of mutes and then hit that twice and that should get you close. Kind of like that, right? Then you drop down here to the neck position, do a trill between the open G and the second fret, and then you give it a little bend release, kind of like that, and that's the end of the solo, right? And uh, so let's take it from the top and uh, we'll be done. that bend up two and a half steps. I got it up about two steps, I think. But to uh, know that, it's, it's way up there before you grab that uh, G note there. And uh, that is it, my friends. That is how you play that track, and that's how you play that solo, And uh, because it just drops back into another uh, pre-chorus and then chorus at the end of this track, and we already learned that. So I uh, certainly hope you enjoyed the video and enjoyed the tutorial. If you did, uh, please uh, hit that like button, drop me a subscribe if you haven't done that already, as that would be very kind. Hope you're well out there in your little guitar corner of the world, and we'll see you next time. Cheers.